Oh, another fantastic day today. How about one more? Do you, are you up for one more summer day? Do you think we can get through this and enjoy? We're talking about mid 60s, a little fog around to start the day. But again, that's a nice summer like beginning. 83, lunchtime will be warm. Enough humidity, you're certainly going to notice it. And by tomorrow, late in the day, cold front's coming in. We're going to be saying goodbye to the warmth. We may also say hello to at least a shower or two in the air, but they'll be pretty few and far between. So how do we get there? Let's talk about this, and as we do so, the heat, it's about to end. And it's been an amazing run. We've really only seen, a, you know, to kind of invert the metaphor, the tip of the iceberg, uh, because some folks who are north, we're going to look at this just a second, have seen some just incredible heat. For us, it's certainly been an extension of summertime, but fall's return's coming. We're going to see that coming in pretty quietly as we get you toward the latter part of the week. A lot of times you get a transition this severe. I mean, we're talking a good 12, 15 degree drop. You know, a lot of times that can come in kind of violently, but this won't be. Tropics are finally beginning to quiet down. We've also lost quite a bit of daylight. I mean, you notice it's getting dark early. Well, tonight is the first night where the nighttime hours are longer than the daytime hours. Not the first time ever, but the first time for this fall season. 11 hours, 58 minutes, 46 seconds was our daylight today, which means our nighttime was slightly over 12 hours, and that will continue to expand until we head toward the solstice in December. Talking about the heat that's to our north. Chicago, 92 record high today. That is their sixth consecutive record high, sixth consecutive day over 90. They have never done that in September to this degree. So again, amazing stuff. Even as far north, look at Pelston, Michigan is pushing 90 today. Going up to New England, it was in the 90s today. Birmingham, again, as warm as Pelston, but the cool, it's out here. It's just creeping this way. It's coming. And we will feel that for the latter part of the week. So again, the heat's days are numbered, which we can show you here after the high today of 89. We start the downward slide. We're actually below normal Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Not dramatically so, but a little. 71 right now, Bluegrass Airport. Enough humidity. Certainly we're right on the border of being muggy. No wind to speak of. You look around, it's upper 60s, low 70s. It's another warm night. Clouds have been out here to our west. You see there is rain, so again, that chance is going to be there tomorrow. It's not huge, but again, the, the push this way, it's just, it's reluctant to come this way, but eventually it will. Maria continues to spin out here off the coast of North Carolina as a tropical storm, so it has weakened. High pressure is eventually going to give way here. Now here comes the cold front. We get you to tomorrow morning. We start off the day with sunshine, but as the cold front comes in, clouds will increase later in the day, and there is your shower chance. Not huge. But it's there. Then Canadian air arrives, the humidity goes down, so does the temperature, and a little reinforcing cold front's going to arrive here for Friday and Saturday. Again, tracking Maria, watch the wind begin to decrease as the pressure begins to increase. And really, there's very little on the western flank of this storm anymore. It's all been sheared, pushed off to the east. The cooler water's also done its job. The Moorhead City radar, again, you're seeing the bands of rain around from Maria. We're getting wind gusts to around 40 miles per hour out there at Cape Hatteras. For tonight, you're looking at a mainly clear night, warm, mid-60s tomorrow. Let's go with our last day of summer. Becoming partly sunny with that little rain chance, highs will be in the upper 80s. We continue to Thursday. The cool down gets going. We'll be into the mid-70s, which really takes hold then for Friday and Saturday. What a difference between this week's UK game and last week's UK game <laughs> in terms of the temperature. And it actually gets hot again next week, back into the 80s. Yeah, sticking a nice fall weekend there in between in the meantime. Exactly. Different in the outcome, too. Let's plan on it. Yeah. We'll be back after this.